Hi, I'm Helen Feltovich. I'm one of the maternal fetal medicine doctors with Intermountain Healthcare. And that means that I'm a high risk obstetrician. And I have been asked to talk to you today about how do we keep our family safe during quarantine? The answer to that actually in terms of getting COVID is very easy because if everybody's actually quarantining, there's quite little risk of getting the virus because there's little exposure to each other. We showed that right here in Utah and Arizona and Idaho. In March and April, we had barely any cases, but now our numbers are exploding as we've become less and less restrictive. But the thing is that less restriction is a good thing and we need that for other parts of our health. So instead, I'd like to talk about how we keep our families, including our unborn babies, safe during a pandemic because none of us want to go back to lockdown. We certainly can figure out how to be in this new world, how to balance the risk of spreading the virus around while at the same time maintaining our jobs and our healthy lives. It basically comes down to just following the rules. And I know that sounds simplistic and this isn't simple or easy. So we'll talk about that in a second. But first let's get rid of the pink elephants in the room. Let's acknowledge that the world right now is new and it feels scary and uncertain. There's no question that this is the worst pandemic anyone in the world who's younger than 102 years old has ever experienced. Also, this virus is tricky perhaps the trickiest virus we've ever seen. We don't understand why it seems to cause horrible problems in some people and no symptoms in others. We can't get a fix on that. We're very disappointed to be learning that it doesn't seem to give us easy immunity like chicken pox would. So we can't have chicken pox parties and get everyone immune so that we have herd immunity. And also, I think a lot of us were hoping that it would calm down or even go away in the summertime like some viruses do, but that clearly is not happening. More specific to my work, we were really hoping that it wouldn't affect babies and children as much as adults and older people. But as the months have gone on, that is proving completely incorrect. I bet we've all seen the recent report from that one county in Texas that has 85 babies that are sick with COVID and another thing you've probably seen in the news lately is that unlike we thought early on, pregnant women actually can get very sick. Further, although this still seems to be quite rare, doctors in Canada and France have recently shown that it definitely can affect unborn babies by going through the placenta from the mom. In fact, I'm really sad to tell you that in recent weeks, we've had three stillbirths at Intermountain that we think are probably COVID related. We're still investigating these and we don't know for sure, but I need to admit that we are very, very worried. So let's shift gears. Now that all the scary stuff is out of the way and we don't have to worry about the pink elephants in the room anymore, let's talk about what we can do. As I said a minute ago, the question of what to do and how to keep ourselves safe in a pandemic is not an easy question. For one thing, it involves weighing risks and everybody does that differently. Also, the rules are different in different places and that seems super confusing. So I like to remember that really there are three simple rules. They are social distancing, mask wearing, and hand washing. And it turns out that if you follow the global news, the news around the world, you'll see that places that have been very strict about this and where the citizens really adhere to those rules, you'll see that the rates of disease and bad sequelae of disease, such as death, are much lower than in places where there is less adherence to those rules. So again, there are all kinds of nuances and it's very true that these rules are constantly changing. But there's a good thing about that that we'll get to in one second. For now, let's just review that there are really just three very simple rules and those are social distancing, mask wearing, and hand washing. 